don't worry, they haven't started making another Twilight movie just yet. No, these coffins are not for the living dead, nor even just the dead. Stepan Pyrenik is a man with a plan. The Ukrainian coffin maker has seen a chance to make some money out of the living. After all, death is usually a bit of a shock, usually quite sudden. Wouldn't it be great if someone could help us get used to the idea of being dead? At one time, our parents, as a rule, kept a coffin in the attic. Then our grandma, who didn't have an attic, came to us because she lived in an apartment. She asked us to make something that she could put in her apartment, so we decided to make her a coffin couch. We lay down on it in the evening and slowly get used to eternity. So we set aside a room for those needing a little coffin therapy. 51-year-old tutor Anna Petrukina is already a convert. After a hard day working, you can come in and just relax. It's great. You go home in a completely different mood. Hmm. Similarly, lawyer Arta Dickey can't see what all the fuss is about. When you lay in the coffin, it feels just like a bed. It's the same sheets, the same pillow. The coffin is wooden, but we sleep on metal beds, which are absolutely not good for your health. A wooden coffin has its own aura inside, its own biofield, and I rest. All Stepan's coffin sessions are currently free, but he is looking at charging. Whether he'll introduce a fee for the afterlife too remains to be seen.